Man, you hear this humming from this air compressor here? Does your AC unit try to come on and you hear it humming like this, but the fan's not blowing? Well, today we're going to show you how to repair that and it starts right now. Jeff here again and welcome back to our channel where we give you world-class renovation tips, remodeling your bathrooms, your kitchens, flooring, repairs around the house, engineering disasters and tool reviews and of course today we're doing this engineering disaster here and if you're not subscribed to our channel man what are you waiting for go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below there and after you do that click the little gray icon next to it the little bell icon that way you'll never miss a single video that we upload because you won't want to miss any of our videos with this video today if you're successful you're going to save yourself $150 to $200 in having an AC repair person come out to fix your air conditioning unit here. So let's get right into it. So here you can see, you can hear it all humming and everything like it's wanting to do something. But it just doesn't want to go. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you got to shut the power to the unit. Now, almost every air conditioner has either like a switch, a power switch next to it, or one of the yankable types of fuses. So in this case, we're going to turn it off. Now it's nice and quiet again. And now we're going to open it up and see what's wrong in there. Okay, so you first have to remove the access panel. And it's usually held down with two quarter inch screws. So I typically like to use my quarter inch screw socket here. Pull that one off over there, and then we'll have another one over here to do. Okay. Once you have your two screws out of the way, now you can pull the access panel. Now, some of you may have an access panel on the side of the unit, and that's fine too. But they all generally work the same way. All right, so let's take a little roll call here now that we have the unit open and we'll just show you the main players here. There's really not a whole lot here. That big black part right there is the compressor and that's usually not what fails in these. It's usually some of these support parts that fail. And then of course the fan with the blower motor is right back here underneath. This right here is your starter relay, so it gets its power right here from the main line and it will tell the compressor and the blower fan to turn on. These are the outputs over here. And then right here is the, the run capacitor here. So you see how it's got the, the two wires here, the, the purple wire here? And this guy here will go down and tell the compressor to turn on. So this is a large capacitor that we'll pull out here for you to see. See this? It's almost the size of a can of Coke. This is typically a 35 to 40 microfarad capacitor, and it'll say it right on there. See, 35 plus, plus 5 uh, microfarad. So, and this is rated at 370 volts. So this is usually the culprit. Now let me show you. Now this one looks like it's in good condition. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong. When these fail, nine times out of 10, it's pretty obvious because the capacitor will be bulging right around here. It might balloon out a little bit. And that's how you know it's gone bad because it's trying to explode basically. And then over here is this other capacitor. This is a smaller one. It's a 10 microfarad capacitor. This one is the capacitor for the fan blower. So what these capacitors do is they store energy and voltage. And when it's time for the compressor to turn on, the compressor will get some power and energy from this cap. And if there isn't any in there, then it's not going to turn on. Same thing with the fan. If the fan doesn't see any energy coming out of this capacitor, it's not going to turn on. Or your, your relay output could be bad here. So let's figure out which it is. Okay, so first and foremost, what you should do is take pictures of where all the wiring was so you don't forget which way things get connected. And then we want to disconnect the capacitor here, the big run capacitor, because we're going to measure the microfarads. So you just pull out the orange wire there and the purple wire there. Now you have the capacitor out and free to move about the country. Okay, so I'm using my Klein Tools MM400 digital multimeter. I have a much better fluke meter, but it's currently at another job site right now. So I have it, as you can see, it's set over here to capacitor. That is the symbol right there for capacitor, when you see the two little parallel lines there. So it's set to capacitor mode, and we are now going to 
try to measure it and see what it's giving us for capacitance here. Okay, so we're measuring about three microfarads. That's not good, that's way too low because as you know, this is a 35 microfarad capacitor here. And so we should be seeing somewhere between 30 or 40 microfarads and we're only seeing three. Let me just take the measurement again and uh, see if we, because there's a lot of rust on here. Yeah, so no matter what we do, we're getting only three microfarads. So this could be one of those cases where the can is bad, but it didn't balloon up. Okay, so here I'm going to also disconnect the fan's capacitor. And we'll get him measured up too. All right, so I'm going to take my leads and put them across the terminals there. And we're not even measuring any microfarads at all. It's showing nanofarads, which is even worse. So that says to me that maybe this little capacitor here is spent. I'm supposed to be reading, as you can see right there on the label, 10 microfarads, and I'm not getting pretty, pretty much anything that's negligible what I'm getting. So we're going to try replacing these two. Okay, now let me just warn you something about air conditioning repair. When you call the air conditioning repair company and they come out to repair your air compressor here, if they find that the problem is your capacitor here, this big one, they're going to charge you $150. But we're going to show you how to replace this yourself for like next to nothing. Okay, so I just went and picked up the replacement cap for this from a local air conditioning supply house. And this capacitor here, this run capacitor for this air conditioner is $10. And remember, the air conditioning repair company is going to charge you $150 for it. This little capacitor here for the fan, this is the fan motor capacitor. So this capacitor was only $6. So I just came back from the AC supply house, okay? My local air conditioner parts supply house charged me $16 total for these two capacitors right here that we're going to use to repair our air compressor with. So that's how you save money, folks, and we're going to show you how to do it yourself so you won't pay anybody any labor costs. So we have our new capacitors here, and we're going to pull it out. And so when you go to buy it, you always want to make sure you're checking the rating. See, so you're looking for this 35.5, that we call it, so 35 microfarads, and you want that same operating voltage there, that 370 volts and 370. So the newer ones appear to be a little shorter than the older ones. So now what we're going to do is get the old one out of the way and we're going to test the capacitance on this one here and let's see what we get here. It's calculating and there we go, 34.67 microfarads. So this is right smack dab in the middle of the range where it should be. So that says to me that pretty much almost confirms that the other capacitor was indeed bad. Okay, now that we know that, the new one measures up good. Let's pull out the old one and we're gonna compare it. We're going to compare these two capacitors and you can see it's got the same rating, the 10 microfarads, 10 microfarads. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure it. Let's see what the Klein meter tells us. And we get, it's calculating, there we go, 10.24 microfarads. So he's right smack dab in the middle of his operating range there. So we know we have two good capacitors right now. So let's go ahead and hook those up and we'll see if that solves our problem with this air compressor not working, but yet it's still humming. But we'll go ahead and see if this will fix the problem. All right, so we're going to slide the capacitor back into the position it was in, in the same orientation. Now remember this, this mark here was facing to the right there, like that. And the purple lead, if you recall, was connected up here. And the orange lead was connected right here onto the capacitor. Okay, so the run capacitor for this air compressor unit is now installed. Now we're going to take the other capacitor here for the fan motor. Okay, so we're taking the fan motor capacitor and this brown cord was here. The other brown conductor with the white stripe was here. Doesn't matter which one of these uh, around the corner you, you plug it onto. They have these on here, multiple contact points in case um, you have other wires in there. 
I'm going to put this in the box here because, see, for some reason they didn't leave a place for it. I mean, we could leave it out, but I'll just protect the unit a little bit by putting it in the box. If you're wondering if it's going to be a fire hazard, I wouldn't worry about it. You're inside of a metal enclosure here, and it's better to insulate this guy and protect him than to uh, leave him out in the open. And in fact, this is exactly what the previous air conditioning company had done too. All right, so now that both of our capacitors are installed here in the external air compressor unit here, we are about to fire up the AC compressor here and see if it comes on. Okay, let's flip the switch back on and see if she starts up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. And there it is, folks. There is your lovely fan spinning around beautifully doing its job. Can I get an amen, brothers? That's right. You're not getting reamed today, folks. Because you now have a functioning air conditioner. Well, you can see we have a nice, perfectly running air conditioner. This was another successful repair here. And if you found this useful, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up down below. And once again, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss a single one of our uploads. And then hit the gray bell icon next to it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this repair helped you, hey, go ahead and let us know down in the comments below. It would be helpful to everybody else that comes by to check out this video as well, all right? So anyway, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you on the next one.